Hello guys, they will bring in all of the Halo 3 weapons, all the weapons that they have on this tier list. I don't think they have every single weapon here. But yes, we'll be ranking them from bad to worst F tier. The weapons that you will never use in any circumstance whatsoever. To S tier, we'll be considering campaign, legendary, of course, legendary campaign, how they're useful in campaign, or basically how fun they are to use, or basically, you know, how useful they are online, or in other circumstances. So the first weapon is the Assault Rifle. Uh, C tier. It's very useful for close quarters combat, but the weapon, but there are many weapons that do that job better. Essentially, they're not assault rifle is not the best weapon, especially on legendary, because do going in close quarters is very very difficult. But on, and also when you fight against other people, you get it's the standard weapon you start with. Assault rifle is just your average weapon, basically. So it's C tier. Beam rifle basically does the worst of those. And it's no, it's it's A tier. It's basically a sniper rifle, but it has, the, you know, you can't really re refill it, you know, basically once you want sniper ammo, basically you can get more if you have, there's another sniper rifle on the map, but beam rifle, you can't really refill it, it's just a certain set amount of shots you have in the beam rifle, so yeah, Marla, if dual wielding, it's B tier, basically, yeah, if you're just using one more, it's completely garbage, but I think this weapon is meant to be dual wield. So yes, if we do wield more, they're very, very overpowered, but you only have one, which is usually most of the time. Yeah, it's completely garbage. Battle Rifle, yeah, it's A-tier. Very useful in campaign for sniping out the brutes, because of course they're going to beat you very easily. And yeah, it's very, very, very useful in, you know, modes if you learn how to use it. Same thing with the Carbine. Yeah, boots are C tier. Don't have to explain that. Boots are very useful for taking out guns, but and zackles, and that's all it is really useful for. It is a very it's bit it's basically just like a rocket launcher or a few are, but worse. Why would he use this? Okay, D tier. That's how it goes. Anti sword, very useful for close quarters combat, especially against the flood. Anti sword's probably the best weapon besides the flame for no, no, probably the best weapon against the flood, so it's S tier. It's the best weapon to use, besides like flame grenades against the flood and the shotgun. So, yeah, especially if you have to go through Cortana, your energy sword will be your best friend if you find when you, once you kill the, the flood of the energy sword. So, yeah, next is the firebomb grenade, very useful grenade. Flag grenade, not that great compared to the covenant grenades they had in the game. Actually, it's still better than the spike grenade, so it's B tier. Next is the few odd gun. It doesn't walk on, so it's basically a worse version of the rocket launcher, but it does have more ammo, so it has more spam, so it's still A tier frame 4, yeah. What would they think of this weapon, the frame 4? Even though it's very useful against the forward, why would you use a frame 4? It's just like, it's basically, you go very slowly, it's a short range weapon, but you go very, very slowly with a frame 4. Next is the gravity hammer, I think this is the game where the gravity hammer was its best. It's very useful for taking out large mouth enemies right by you and basically, you know, taking out strong enemies that charge at you. So yeah, very, very useful weapon, especially taking out forward units as well. Machine gun turret, very useful if you're using stations, but yeah, like all turrets, not really useful. Next is the Magnum, yeah, FTO. <laughs> it doesn't even have a scope in this game. All the other games it does, but this game, for some reason, yeah, it, it can be dual wield, but what would be the point? It's a weapon that is made to have a scope, but it's very, very useless. It's even, it's, you know, like the plasma pistol has a use, but the magnum doesn't really have a use, except for taking out grunts, but you, but again, you can't really have a scope, so why would you pick a magnum over a battle rifle or a carbine any day, or a sniper rifle? Why would you pick a magnum? I get it's supposed to be a weapon that you just get rid of very quickly. Next to the missile pod, very useful against vehicles. So it's A tier. It does act like a tote when you dewards it, but it does walk on the vehicles, unlike the few odd. It'll be, it's a very useful tool taking out the scarabs if you can have access to a missile pod. It's also very useful for basically taking out vehicles on certain ma on many big maps. Next is the needle. Needle is very overpowered in this game. You know, it's not as overpowered in the campaign as Halo 4, but Halo 4 is pretty easy. But yeah, Nido is, of course, S tier. You can, you can basically, it super combines way faster. It suits way faster than the Halo 2 one. Next is, of course, the plasma cannon. Basically, that's like the machine gun. Next is the sticky grenades. Sticky grenades are A tier as well. Once you stick onto it, you basically get an instant free kill. 
Next is the plasma pistol. Very useful for taking out vehicles, but why would you use it over the... Yeah, it's still B-tier. Next is the plasma rifle. Basically, it's the Covenant assault rifle. Not really that useful. The rocket launcher, yeah, it's S-tier. Rocket launcher is very useful in the game. You know, same thing with the shotgun. It also goes in S-tier. Very useful for close quarters combat. And next is the worst grenade in the entire game. The spike grenade. Only useful for taking out void infection forms, so it is F-tier. Because it sucks. So yes, next is... This is the Spartan Razor. Also very useful for taking out vehicles. But you actually have to have good accuracy. It doesn't really... But it's very good for taking out vehicles. So yeah. Next is the SMZ. It's very good when dual wielded. It's basically a better version of the Assault Rifle. Because it can dual wield it. Spiker. FTL. It sucks. Sniper Rifle of course is S is S tier. Sniper Rifle is very good in this game. Yeah, basically, they're going, Sniper Rifle was good in every game, except for, like, Halo 5, you know, basically, where they brought back the old Sniper Rifle, so there we go, that is the Halo 3 weapons tier list, and that's basically it, goodbye.